how to identify your quartz crystal to find out what kind of quartz crystal it is remember this book Barbie mm-hmm I do yeah so we went to the Cincinnati gem and mineral show together this was back in about 1995 and Barbara had this book with her and she seemed to know when we were looking at the crystal she said oh that's a channeler that's a that's a self healed and I was like how do you know this? And she said, it's in the book. It's in the book. I said, what book? What are you talking about? And it was this book. It's in the book. And it was this book. And in the book became a phrase, didn't it? Yes. It's in the book. <laughs> it's in the book. Yet we'd, we'd ask Melody, what's this? What's that? What does it do? She said, look in the book. And so we learned how to look in the book. But let's ask you, Bobby, when someone's new to crystals, how do you tell, how do I tell what's this quartz crystal? What's this quartz crystal? What's this one? What's the body? What's the face? What's the termination? Can you just give us a few tips? Yes, there are hundreds of different types of crystals that basically have been nicknamed for some characteristic or formation that the quartz has. Okay. So before you get too far along, the first thing you need to understand is that there's basically three parts to a quartz crystal. Okay, there's the base which the quartz was growing on. So like this, this yes, is the base. the base. Yeah. Okay. So that's the base. There's the body of the crystal, so and like it's a six-sided structure. And then you have the terminated point of the crystal. Okay. okay? And at that terminated point, you'll have usually six faces. And these sides that create the termination are what are called faces. Is it always six faces? Not 100%, but quartz is silicon dioxide, and the reason why we call it crystals is because it grows in a crystalline structure, and that structure is six-sided. So the molecules okay. are actually grown in a six-sided formation. So most, a lot of quartz you'll find does, if you count it, has six sides, okay? Okay. And a lot of the formations are nicknamed off of the faces and the, the, um, the, the, the way they're designed or shaped. shaped. The, the shape yeah, of the, the shape. Of them. Okay. Okay. Good. So today what I thought I'd do is show people what a channeling crystal is. People are usually very interested because when you're first getting into this, you want to be able to channel the information from your guides, helpers, from the other side in order to um, learn what you need to learn. Okay. And there's lots and lots of these different things. So while you're explaining that, I'll look something up here. Okay. Okay. All right. Go for it. So what is a channeling crystal? And it's very difficult to get a good picture of it or anything, which is why these videos are perfect. Because what you have to do is you actually have to count the sides of the faces, or the face, in order to determine whether it meets that criteria. So a channeling crystal is defined as a crystal that has a seven-sided face, and exactly opposite of that, is a triangle or a three-sided face, okay? So for me, the easiest way to figure that out, particularly when I'm shopping at gym shows, is to take my finger and run it along the edge so I can, and then start at the bottom. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can I do that for the camera? Mm-hmm. Okay, so it was like this, wasn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and sometimes the side can be very short, can't it? Very narrow and small, which is why if you run your finger across it, you'll be able to tell yeah. more easily than just visual inspection, particularly right. for us older people. Right, and that, that triangle opposite is a feature, an important part. It is. It? You must have the seven-sided and then the triangle on the exact opposite side. Right. And sometimes the triangle can be very small. In very this particular tiny, example, yeah. it's very tiny. But there should be a triangle exactly opposite the seven-sided face. That's and right. that is defined as a channeling crystal. Yes. And does, this, does it have to be very regular and symmetrical, or can it be a little bit asymmetrical? It, oh, it can definitely be asymmetrical. And, and it's still and a channeling. Sometimes you can have a little bit like a little bit mm. of not quite a perfectly straight line, but a little, you know, little edgy, edgy bumpiness, bumpiness and stuff. Okay. But basically what you're looking for is that seven-sided face with a three-sided triangle on the okay. exact opposite. And that's how you got to channeling crystal. Yes. So we want base, body, termination, faces, and then we can determine 
by looking at the faces which kind of quartz crystal and we can determine by looking in a book like Melody's book. This is her old original book. But that's how we taught ourselves, isn't it, Bobby? We looked at these pictures. Mm -hmm. And you can look this up online, too. And you can look to see what you're looking for. And you must. This is how you learn about crystals. And it's very important that you take these steps and do quite a lot on your own, as well as watching us on video. But let's just finish with this. What kind of crystal is this, and how do you know? This one, I would say, is a window crystal because it has a diamond-shaped pattern at the bottom of the terminated face. And, and that could be an extra face. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, so that's where you get a seventh face. But it's, it's, still, it's not an extra side. It's right. just another facet on that right. termination. All six of the sides lead to the terminated point the window will, won't will be up here at the top, it'll always be at the bottom. Ah. So it's like an add-on feature to the six-sided crystal. And it's a great one, the window, isn't it? Yes, it is. The no, window, that's a treasure. <laughs> windows are also really great for you if you're just getting into this and you want to be able to try and journey or gather information from the other side. You can actually meditate with this crystal and travel into the window, into other you know how I learned to use a window crystal? How? Like this. I have to demonstrate. I put the window to my third eye. Ah. And it trained my third eye to start seeing more. I wasn't so sure I liked it when I started seeing more. <laughs> <laughs> it was <Yes>. too late. <laughs> yes. Just so that, that was that was a neat trick. Yeah. Yeah. But that is just the crystal told me to do it. I had this great window. It's really nice. Try it. Can mm. I hold it to your sure. to your forehead? Isn't that cool? Yes. You can also, what I'm seeing is it's showing me the internal structure of the crystal. I'm inside the crystal as I do this. This is fabulous. There we are, folks. More fun and games with quartz crystals. It doesn't get better than that. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.